Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Jeskai control. So we have another donation deck today, last deck of the night, where we're going to be playing um, a Jeskai control list that I believe was top eight of Grand Prix Kyoto. Could certainly be wrong about that, um, but I, I believe that's where this list comes from, except for uh, the person that donated wanted to try taking out uh, from the original list the warrant to ward in for a settle the wreckage. And I can certainly see that. I like having this sell the wreckage in there. So basically what we have here is a control deck where we are uh, a Niv-Mizzet Perun deck. You know, Niv-Mizzet's going to be our most important card. We have the treasure maps to help us find Niv-Mizzet and also give us a lot more mana whenever we play Niv-Mizzet because whenever this transforms, we get all of those treasures and we can play Niv with extra mana, having extra mana with uh, to have dive down to be able to protect Niv, to have opt... Um, and like these one mana spells that we get to cast with Niv out there. And in fact, don't we have, yeah, we have some ops with the 3D border. Let's use those and everything. So Niv's our most important card. Uh, but besides that, we have just kind of some normal control stuff. We got, you know, Teferi's in here. This deck was more popular before Ravnica Allegiance hit. Hasn't, hasn't been as popular with Ravnica Allegiance, but... Um, out there. Esper has been the more popular control deck because of Kai's Wrath and Mortify. But let's see if Jeskai still has the tools to kind of maybe take some people by surprise. As they're going to be expecting Esper, and we're going to have these Deafening Clarions and everything. Yeah, Deafening Clarion is a really nice pull towards uh, the Boros color combination in a control deck. <laughs> Dovin looks so silly. Alright, how many lands do we have? 25. So this is this is like keeping a two lander with keeping Steam Vents opt. It's basically a two lander. The problem is It's like expansion's not going to really do very much for us. We kind of have like a two lander with Deafening Clarion. And we have like our, our heavy hitters at the top end that are really important. I don't know. I think I'm leaning towards Mulligan. Okay, well, now we have Treasure Map to help smooth our draws out. But we'll keep this. This is probably going to be better for us. Yeah, Dive Down is the kind of card that it's not good until, you know, it's just a combo with Niv Mizzet, but once you actually have Niv Mizzet out, Dive Down can just win the game for you. Because, especially with people having a bunch of. Like cards like Vivian Reed and Hostage Taker and Ravenous Chupacabra. Things like that that can kill Niv. It's really nice to have Dive Down as protection. Yeah, I guess we could upkeep stop. I wasn't... Oh, I guess I was too late on it, upkeep stopping there. I wasn't really planning on it, honestly, with the upkeep stop. Because I didn't really feel like we need to just find something immediately that turn. Because we had the Steam Vent still. But now we can we can see if we draw the land or not, or you know we have more information for our next scry. So likely a Drake deck, where Justice Strike will do some work for us. But Deafening Clarion, not likely to kill kind of anything else except for we Dragonauts, so let's just go ahead and cast that thing. And still looking for a land, would love to be able to play Teferi next turn. Sure. 
Perfect. The Glacial Fortress looks nice. I think that's our first time playing Glacial Fortress. Yeah, that land looks nice. I like that one. My least favorite of these is the Sorcerer Falls. We need to move quickly. I mean, I guess it looks a little better when you when you really look at it, but I don't know, just from like looking at these like this, the, you know, it just kind of looks like some rocks. The art of the new Fibblethip to uh, is going to be your uh, play mat soon. Awesome. Oh, is there... Oh, there's actually totally lost? Oh. I didn't know there was... For realsies, totally lost. I knew there was... You know, Fibblethip had a, a Planeswalker card. Or not a Planeswalker card, but a Legendary Creature card, sorry. Time for Plan B. As soon as I think of one. Hurry! All right, Niv, where are you at? Not there. Hmm. I cast this insight. I guess copying chemistry's inside is pretty hot. We'll maybe do that later. So I want to be able to have Justice Strike and Absorb here and not have to use treasures. So that's why we're not untapping this treasure cove. That's why I was tapping the treasure cove initially anyway. Yeah, we're hoping they grow the Drake a little bit. It's certainly possible I should just be letting this Teferi die. But we do have the means to keep it alive. And we all know how good Teferi is. But yeah, it's true. We could have a pretty big explosion with the treasures. Honestly, I don't really have too many thoughts on the War of the Spark pre-order bundle. I'm not sure exactly how it kind of compares to... You know, like, like the gem packages and everything. All right, so we're gonna thought thought collapse there, thought collapse. I could have just copied. Oh, nice, we got rid of the bane fire. I was gonna say I could have just copied the the justice strike again. So it, you know, we put more instants and sorceries in their graveyard with. With stuff with flashback, it could be a little risky. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen.
Don't you get... Oh, so for $50 in gems, you get 50 packs. So for $50 in cash, you'd get 50 packs. Plus the Liliana and the card style on the sleeve. Yeah, so you also get the $1,200 gem cosmetic there. Unclear whether you'll be able to get that cosmetic. Like, the the real thing is it's, it's unclear if you're going to be able to get that cosmetic at any other time. Or if you, like, have to buy the pre-order is the only time you can possibly get that Liliana cosmetic. I really like to save opt for like after a Niv Mizzet. We just don't know that we'll actually find Niv Mizzet though. If you do not care about cosmetics, it's pretty trash. Well, it's still better value of just getting than just buying the packs, but that is true. Like, with when you factor in how you can just like use the gems to draft and everything, that is true. Like, getting gems and, and playing limited is a lot better value. So, Ral Collar of Storms plus one draw card, minus two deals three damage. Fight as you choose, a minus seven, draw seven, and it deals seven damage to each creature. All right, we have to get this upkeep stop in right now. If we, if you hit, put it at the bottom, and then try to put the upkeep stop in because of how the program kind of lags behind it a tad. That Ral ultimate is no joke. This Ral's not bad. I mean, plus one draw card each. I mean, that's just that's Teferi. If you don't don't spend the man any, anyway, and then minus seven draw seven. Thing's no joke at all. It's certainly not way worse than Teferi in every way. Like the the first one is just you just don't get to untap two lands. But it's still better than, you know, comparing it to Teferi, saying it's a weaker Teferi, doesn't really matter what's on the battlefield. It's just what it's doing. It's still winning the game. It's still good enough to win. Whether or not it's better than Teferi doesn't really matter right now. I mean, it's it certainly is worse than Teferi, but still, still can win the game. So we find, speaking of Teferi, we find finally found our own. Ah, uh, there's Nev. So why didn't they use this maximized velocity? Like, what are they doing over there? They just didn't want to use maximized velocity, high, I guess. Much more malleable than people think. I use Clarion there because Coil can kill Drakes, or Clarion can. Like, Coil can kill that thing. So now they can Velocity and kill the Teferi or hit me for a bunch. At least Teferi is saving us a whole lot of life here. If they use the maximized velocity to kill Teferi, it saves us a lot of life. I'm 
Dreadhorde Butcher, that card looks pretty interesting. That's the, the black red 1-1, one, one, correct? That whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you put a counter on it. Player or Planeswalker, and then whenever it dies. Hmm, interesting. Chart, of course. Blue, 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 red, red, red. I'm not done yet. All right, so I got 10 mana. Ral is certainly coming down here. Do I spell pierce Ral? Is the main question. Ooh, Banefire for five. Just cycling spell pierce, of course. Doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Don't pay the two opponent. <laughs> Your spell's uncounterable. Look for more nibs. Now that Ral's just gonna go away now. Yeah, dive down would have been great there for sure. No, I like dive down. I wasn't I wasn't the one that was anti dive down. No time for somebody else in chat. Probably find more Niv Mizzets somewhere. Probably. But also, maybe not. I'm not like completely sold on the spell pierces in this deck, that they would be better than negates. I know they cost. You know, only one man said it too, but th this deck is built to like play long games, and spell pierces in long games turn into doing nothing. No. 
Now what? Just gonna let that happen with me having a backup to fairy. I'd rather counter uh, some kind of threat like that thing, because I just don't. I don't really have removal too much. I'd rather just kind of try to try to take care of their threats. Hold that thought. There's another Niv. Finally. That's our second one. And... And even though we have 18 cards left now, we know the bottom three were not Niv, so there was only 15 cards left in our deck, and we still had three more Niv Mizzets in there somewhere. Between those... Those 15 cards. <laughs> Yeah, negate with Teferi works pretty well, too. Lava Coil that. It's got to be like all the lands, right? Keep up the pace. Unclear if there's another land in the deck. No, I want to spell pierce that. Um, bones at nine. went too far. If I decline, then I don't have the spell in the stack anymore for the absorb, and I need to do one more damage, so I was just going to be able to absorb that. So I was going to pay and then absorb it. Alright, get another Lava Coil in here. We saw them have two Bane Fires. Phoenix is going to be pretty decent. Lyra, yes please. Negate, yes please. Not sold on Deputy of Detention. Maybe. Don't really need Clarion. Deputy just basically takes a lightning strike out of their hand. No, we did not play against Control with Mardu Angels. We played Mono Green twice, and then Mono White twice, and then we beat Simic Nexus. And that was a little bit of a surprise. What am I taking out? I guess I mean like the Deafening Clarions. What are the other four cards I'm taking out? Yeah, I could just take out Spell Pierce with bringing in the gate. I could see Settle being like, you know, good against them, but all right. I think this is a deck from Grand Prix Kyoto, I believe. It's like top eight of that. Ugh. <laughs> 
yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the deputies either. Uh, there's got to be a reason why... I mean, just besides, like, is it is it just for crisis? Is that the reason why you have deputies? Is it like just for crisis? I don't know. Or it's good against wilderness reclamation also. You board out your clary on there, and it dodges negate. Okay. I could see all those. Those all sound like reasonable thing. And then yeah, tokens. That's that's a matchup that you definitely want Clarion in as well. Opponent, you want to go first? Go second? What you want to do? What you want to do, opponent? Waiting on your opponent. I guess the Absent Knights is ready to go up to YouTube, so I can go ahead and put that up here, do a little copy paste and get it ready to go. Two lands treasure map. It's not the most ideal lands, but we're on the draw. We can draw a different. We can draw a better land. Okay. Um, Abzan Knights. What's going on over there, opponent? I guess the answer to that question is not very much. So we'll just... Take the win after that long game one and go on to the next match, I guess. All right, I like this hand. I don't think we need to. I'm not sold that we need to um, shock in here. Alright, sorry. Almost done making this. Gates. That's probably bad for us. They're probably going to take out all their gates of blazes, though, and I bet deputy detention is going to be good here. So if they, you know, if they have the uh, Guild Summit, we'll be able to spell pierce it. If they have the Gatebreaker Ram, I'm going to just untap and Lava Coil it. Abzan Knight's up. Alright, I'm back. Let's 
Bell Pierce. Doesn't use our mana too well, of course. Hmm. Would have loved to have Teferi that last turn. And I think I'd rather Insight here instead of play Treasure Map. <laughs> yeah, Spell Pierce doesn't... Or, it, you know, they get out of Spell Pierce range very quickly. I hate letting this card resolve, honestly. But I really want to play Teferi next turn. If this was if this wasn't like you need to let this resolve so that you can play Teferi next turn. I wouldn't let that resolve. I won't hide from the world any let's skip to the good part. I love countering routes. These double dive downs are looking pretty nice. Same with the double treasure map. They look... All these cards look like they're going to be doing a lot for us here. I mean, the main thing is if we draw... If we draw Niv and we get to just play Niv, untap two lands, have double dive down up to protect Niv, we'll be looking pretty good. That's why countering circuitous route is always good. Of course, maybe just holding a counter for Guild Summit. Maybe I should have just been doing that. So am I supposed to tuck Guild Summit? Or draw and try to get towards the ultimate? We need to move. It's certainly going to have a lot of good cards in hand if the, those are the cards they're getting rid of. Our hand is horrendous. What that mass manipulation? Whatever, we'll lose. We can't even beat just creatures, though. And that's a that's a big problem. We're gonna have to use this absorb on on creatures. This the manip yeah manipulation is not something I'm worried about whatsoever. What I'm worried about is them just playing, you know, like Gatebreaker Ram, Gatebreaker Ram. Some of these huge eight eights. We can't beat any of those. We need to find settle the wreckage. So we need. But ultimate Teferi is our best course of action to win. As of now. Whatever, you can have infinite cards. Whatever. I already have infinite cards.
He's going to be able to play two gay Colossuses. Insight or double map? I think I want to try to flip these maps. Tapped out for the first guild summit. I didn't counter the second one. Though. I don't think Niv really gets us there. Really want to draw Settle. Time for a break. I don't know. I guess I needed to just like turn five, not play to fairy, hold up mana for a, another guild summit. You know, we already countered one. I don't know. Night Owl, thanks for that resub there for 28 months in a row. We will. Thank meet you so again. much, Night Owl. <laughs> Is this that Pokemon game we keep hearing about? Absolutely. That is exactly six years, 28 months. I'm already never going to be able to win. But if they have Archway Angel, I'm certainly never going to be able to win. Plan against gates is supposed to be. None of our removal spells kill anything. Like Clarion, Shivan Fire, Coil. These cards don't kill anything. I'm definitely glad we at least have the one settle. To start bringing in all these creatures. So I want treasure map. Treasure map just seemed like not really worth it there. Cut dive down. Doesn't really make sense to cut dive down when I'm bringing in like more creatures, right? I guess if they're not gonna have much removal, like don't we want to keep dive down for deputy? It's like protect deputy. Help keep something above a gates ablaze. Uh, just well, dive down can still make things survive gates ablaze, or help us survive a blocking like whatever kind of combat. I 
All right, I'm fine taking it out. No, I like Spell Pierce. Cut a couple of these maps. I'm going to take out one Niv for a Banefire. Hand's pretty ugly, but I think this matchup's ugly for us. Yeah, binding. Yeah, binding would certainly be a good good card for the matchup. Well, love finding the war boss. That was certainly a card I was looking for. That's a good one. Maybe able to win this game with the war boss. Looks like they have Guild Summit for how they're tapping. So if they play Guild Summit, am I playing Phoenix or am I keeping Absorb available for War Boss? I think I'm keeping Absorb available. So let's see, we're attacking for <coughs> five right now, next turn seven. The next turn, nine, and Banefire finishes off. Yeah, I think I'm just going with it, keeping this Absorb available. You have more Guild Summits? I also kind of like, I also not, or I like not showing my opponent Phoenix. I don't really want more creatures out here to really incentivize my opponent on bringing in a whole lot more removal or something like that. I want my opponent just to think that we got lucky of having like a, a random war boss here. They did keep a Gates of Blaze in. Definitely did not need to pierce the guild summit. The, the, that guild summit did not matter. Our guild summit drew them one card. Definitely not worth a, uh, worth a spell pierce. Drawing one card. Yeah, I could banefire them. Why not banefire them? Because then my opponent knows I have banefire. So why why banefire them? I don't, I don't know any reason to actually cast the Banefire. It's game three. You know, we just end the game quickly, but not game two. 
not sure if I... Do I want Lyra instead? Just kind of... <laughs> I just kind of hate all of these cards in the matchup. I hate the treasure maps. I hate the Banefire. This is tough. I mean, Lava Coil's good at exactly at killing the the ram, like, immediately before anything else. Thanks, Rex. Okay, let's see if we can... Yeah, we stole a game. Let's see if getting a, a game on the draw is going to be really tough. This is a... You know, like, one of our... This is... You know, it's a really tough matchup for us, so we'll see if we can steal another game. Alright, hope the opponent does not have... <clears throat> hope they do not have Guild Summit. And hope they don't have Gatebreaker Ram. I hope they have nothing on turn three here. No, you never see Gates players have nothing on turn three, but I'm sure hoping they do, they that that's the case. Well, dang. No, Horatio, I did not see that. I did not know Atlantis Morissette was pregnant. No lands. No lands. So I want to be able to activate treasure map or cast opt and have absorb as well. Aha, that's not a gate. And of course, we only have the two blue mana for absorb. So we didn't have the ability to keep Opt available as well. All right, just drawing the card. There we go. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You need to slow down. Yeah, slow down, opponent. There's the gate. Now, if they have, if they have like the the four mana sorcery. Of go find some gates. Let's skip to the good part. Like it's unclear if they'd want to even cast that. Uh, because they would shuffle the guild summit away. What does Ral do? I don't I don't think I really know what Ral does. Yeah, so now they are casting it. Um I like keeping them down on land. That's how the Gates decks wins, is it has just a huge mana advantage. I like taking, like, casting Absorb is just casting double Stone Rain. You know, like, that's what we're doing, is we're destroying two Gates. I will certainly take double Stone Rain. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll take... I'll take the Deputy of Detention. Oh yeah, definitely not letting him draw the cards. I guess I could... I mean, I was going to just keep this card on top anyway, though. We know they have no gates in hand. Okay, what are we actually doing? We're going to throw this Niv-Mizzet out there. Should I just tuck the Guild Summit? And play Niv? I would not have enough mana for expansion if we do that. No, I think we wait a turn. I think we'll just deputy the Hold Guild Summit. Ball. And even if our opponent has Gates Ablaze, it's not really a, a big deal for us. Is this so? That's ETB. Oh, I guess they do get to tap stuff. Just waiting a turn on Niv is going to really allow us to, you know, have a whole lot more mana and everything. Okay, so that, I guess that does let them draw two cards. But they are. I mean, are they just dead to Banefire next turn? It's, yeah, I guess we can just bane fire our opponent for lethal next turn. All right, so it looks like we stole another one. Good job, rekindling phoenix. And I guess a land is like the best thing for me to get, I suppose. And so I don't know really why I put that at the bottom. We find another land. Alright, time to bane fire. It's easier I I'm still glad I'm still definitely glad I countered that Securitas route. It's easier to beat them when they don't have all their lands. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Perfect amount. All right, two and zero. Oh. Yeah, sometimes the bane fire for twelve just gets there. Sunbirds did really good, actually. We got we got five wins with Sunbirds Invocation last night. Yeah. Yep, just like we drew it up. We had our the sideboard sideboard really helped us out. We had the Legion War Boss and then Rekindling Phoenix did all all of the work. I'd like to draw a treasure map. That'd be a good card to draw here. Man, that Sacred Foundry art is sweet. Nah. Save that for something bigger. Probably clear out away this harpooner and and a couple other things. Or 
you know, one other thing, if possible. All right, I'm gonna take three more. And I'd like a Teferi or a treasure map. Some kind of card advantage. At least our opponent is definitely concerned about... What? I say they're concerned about counter magic. But sure strike? What is this? Ooh, okay, that's some card advantage. We'll wait on this until we get some more mana, of course. That's some good card advantage. <laughs> Raptor Hatchling, no, my bane. My bane. All my stuff deals damage. We're dead in 17 turns. 17 turns. We're dead. Yeah, hatchling is so cute. Oh, look at it. Whoa. See, see those two legs in the background? That's Big Mama Galta. Nah, those legs are too small. Alt is gigantic. There's not like a little raptor hatchling. All right, what are we finding? Teferi? I will take Teferi. Thank you. Yeah, we do have Justice Strike for Galta. Stand by and watch. You know what? I'm not done yet. Unclear how much actual justice is in Justice Strike. Galta is just a nice dinosaur. See, Justice Strike is for, like, demons and stuff. Not not nice little dinosaurs. Just roaming around. I'm getting too old for this. Eating trees. Or whatever dinosaurs do. Oh! I meant to treasure map. Yeah. Uh, let's treasure map now. See if we hit a land drop. Not a land. Well, I was going to be keeping that Cell of the Wreckage anyway. Keep up the pace! Uh, Niv, you're so good. I need to land. It's probably landing here somewhere. Two Nivs at the bottom. Not ideal. Two nibs at the bottom, not ideal at all. We got two more nibs though. That's why we play four. Stop that. Now. Attacking me. Doesn't even want to attack Teferi. Is there another land in the deck? Maybe not. I felt like that was the land. So I just took the draw instead of scrying. Two 
too many cards. We're going to have to play cards eventually. I guess I'm just discarding Spell Pierce, I guess. You know what? I'm not done yet. We had nothing to shuffle the deck. No. We're just going to have to... We're just going to have to scry more things to the bottom. Get them underneath these nibs. <laughs> Push those nibs back up. Atali. Sweet. Oh, yeah, we could settle ourselves. That's true. Yeah, we could shuffle our library with Settle the Wreckage. Hey, that was uncalled for. All right, well, now we found land. All right, I'm going to go double Clarion to kill their two things. And now we're just looking for another Niv. That'll get me at... Let's skip to the good Still going to be too many cards? I'd rather keep Explosion. All right, good, seven cards, that's what I thought. What? Takes a treasure. So that's basically like draw card plus draw Itali. So might as well just absorb that. I could have just justice striked the thing in response. I kind of like saving just a strike. There we go. What's up, Niv? We need to move quickly. And now it's just kind of elementary of just going to draw some cards, deal some damage. And got the huge land pocket now. That's okay. Of course, we have the dive down to protect the Niv. And we'll be able to kill our opponent next turn with Explosion. I assume so, at least. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because Explosion will deal 17 next turn. Or I guess we play a land, too. It can deal 19 next turn. So we don't even need to attack. Just take our draw step, deal one, and then Explosion. That's 20. I guess we could cast Chemistry's Insight too. The 
problem with Niv is does not win very quickly with all these triggers and like targeting and everything. So I should probably just attack my opponent first. To help them realize that, hey, you're going to be dead. Just go ahead and concede. <laughs> okay, you're knocking over the mic. Kitty cam. So four, so three, four, five, six, seven. So I don't even have to crack the treasures. We're just going to do seven. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I just messed it up. Oh, I just messed it up, Hawkeye. Okay. I guess I, I need to actually draw the cards to do the more damage. Oh, well, I'm nice. I'm nice. <laughs> I mean, we could still kill our opponent, but... I want to give them more cards. I mean, all we have to do is cast Opt, and they're dead. Because Opt deals two. It deals one for casting it, one for drawing af afterwards. Alright, so we're playing green red dinos. Dinos can be a problem for us. You know, we got the one justice strike and the absorb. Could go deputy here, which means we'd take out Clarion. I'm not sure if taking out Clarion is really what I want to do. I don't know. Certainly don't need spell pierce. We maybe don't even really need dive down. Can certainly see Phoenix doing some good work. Yep, this is cursive. Hmm. Alright, so if we do that, I probably want this other lava coil. Yeah, let's try this. How do you feel about Abzan midrange this season? I haven't played very much Abzan midrange at all. There's there's like an Abzan midrange list that I've played against a a good amount that I, that's intriguing for sure. I haven't played the list myself. That's like uh, you know like a bunch of like annoying afterlife cards and like Vraska, Golgari Queen, and Vivian. I'm. Intrigued by that that deck, but I haven't played it myself. So I'm not gonna upkeep scry here, just gonna shock and have absorb available. Unless 
we draw a untapped land that would be able to cast Absorb, which Basic Island does not. I guess I should have led with Sacred Foundry first. I mean, we didn't. I didn't know we were drawing Island Island, of course. Yeah, you know what that's gonna do, but let's get that out of here. Is that just Basic Forest? No, it's for every forest. Okay, so they would have had just one forest for right now. Alright, we're still just want to get that thing out of here. Oh no, their own Phoenix. It's a Phoenix battle. I guess I could have activated Treasure Map there, but I don't mind drawing the Hallowed Fountain. We need the land, we need a red source. Need one more red source for the Perun. I kind of want to save the opt for after we have Niv Mizzet, though. If possible. Alright, keeping Deputy. Do I need to cast Deputy here? I think the answer is no. I think I want to save Deputy for bigger, scarier things. Phoenix already has this checked down. And like, yeah, it's so like they were a man away from Galta. Like Galta is like something we would want to deputy away for sure. All right, so we could cast Niv Mizzet for two treasures. I don't want to use that many treasures. Let's just do the good old pass turn. I'm feeling a little silly not having any Deafening Clarions in my deck right a boot now. Sure strike still. Verdant rebirth. Ugh. Kazu not all. Something for that second month. We are back in this. We are back in. This was good old Jess guy. Thanks, cuz. We need to use one treasure for red. We only have the two red sources. And our countdown is down to the final 25. We have our next 12 hour stream on on Thursday. We may be doing our sub battle shortly thereafter, like Friday or Saturday. Okay, they're just passing turn. Hmm. All 
Alright, gonna wait till my turn. So we can kill this Rekindling Phoenix for good. So, Opt did a lot of work for us. Except for Hawkeye. And I'll save the insight and the opt for more damage potential. But you know, we're just going to be ignoring the Raptor Hatchling, of course. Seems like a waste. That's fine. Yeah, our opponent got us with the combat trick. I could have, of course, cast, you know, like one of these, or, you know, I could have even just shocked the 1-1. One, one. But then, if I hit the 1-1, one, one, then they get a 3-3 three, three, that the 3-3 three, three would have had um, reach. Like, I could have hit the 1-1 one, one with their tower defense. And then cast Chemister's Inside and kill the 3-3. Three, three. Seems a little unnecessary, though. I should not have tapped so many blue sources. But we're doing good. We got this. It's just a matter of time. But this game's pretty over. Nice. I like that card. I'm of course letting Biogenic Ooze resolve, because that's just a cool card. And then we're just going to untap and attack. Not going to cast more spells. Alright, 3-0. No. Yeah. Ooze, we like you. You can stay. Alright, Jessica Control doing its thing. Played against a couple, played against like two more budget budget decks, but we had the one difficult match against Gates that we pulled out. Ugh. Man, I was thinking about using that for my username. The old ZQH-5K87-QH7. It was really like between that or Todd Stevens MTG. That was like my second choice. All right, fanatical firebrand war, huh? That's what we're doing here. We're gonna find one of them deafening clarions. At least our opponent can't cast this experimental frenzy, so it's gonna be gone. That's certainly a win for us. Yeah, we are we are very close to another art heist. Yep, one donation deck away 
from getting another hundred getting another hundred dollar gem pack and getting more of these awesome 3d cards well now i'll just do this obviously if i knew that we were going to be drawing that we would not have countered the two one but we did not know we did not know we were drawing that and wow the opponent's just done it must have had must have been really flooded out over there <laughs> okay sure <laughs> hey we're 4-0 it's been a uh, it's been an easier league, but we are 4-0. And let's see if how our final boss does. Maybe my opponent heard my comment about their username and was not happy about it. And if so, I apologize. <clears throat> Final boss time. You ready, Hawkeye? Ooh, good opening hand. Yeah, keepers. Keeper sneepers. We just got dressed down. Am I casting opt on turn one? Yeah, I think so. Certainly could be Esper Midrange or Control. Like it could be where like Deafening Clarion would be really good against like Hero Precinct 1 Esper. Or it could also just be Control. So that's kind of the problem with casting Opt on turn one. I kind of still think I want to though. No, I'm not going to. Not better of it. I want one more turn to see what they see what they have. Mm. All right, so it is one that we needed removal for. But we did not find any removal, unfortunately. I like I like my card. Shiv and fire, lava coil. Come on, deck. Those were like our next cards. All right, deafening clarion. Dang. This can be trouble. Hey, welcome back, Feature. As always, you are, of course, the Feature viewer in the stream. It's like our opponent was already pre-boarded against us. You know, having Duress and then Thief... <laughs> thief is it, like, Duress on turn one, Thief on t three, Thief on four... They already pre-boarded. <laughs> You're welcome, King Toll. This isn't a fight you can win. No time for a break. Yeah, you're right. This is not a fight we can win.
So, what do we want to do? Can't just go like all counter magic because of Thieva Sanity. Gotta have like removal in, but then if we just go like all removal, they could have like their own counters into fairies and stuff. I think I like Phoenix. Yeah, I think let's go like Phoenix, Deputy, maybe not Clarion then. They can't duress away these kind of things, and these things are good against Thiefa Sanity. I guess Hero Precinct 1 is certainly a card where you'd want Clarion. I don't like Settle against a deck with a, just a ton of discard. Maybe we just go aggressive. Kind of like always. Hmm. Maybe take out treasure map. Don't feel like this is going to be pretty quick either way. Doesn't seem like Thieva Sandy is, or sorry, the treasure map is going to be the most important card. All right, I'm kind of liking this. Lear is another pretty good option. I want this coil in though, and I kind of want the negates. We just take out expansion. That card was horrific for us. It does get better after sideboarding with them bringing in like negates and stuff, but let's try this, and we'll take replace one Niv with the Lyra. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant. Next to the power of the Force. I don't really like this hand. I don't think it's a mulligan either. I don't like the two Teferis and the second Lava Coil. Basically, I wish we could shuffle one Teferi, one Lava Coil back in and look for something else. We haven't been heating up our draw steps. Wow, the water looks really good on that Glacial Fortress. Alright, that's enough of that. So normally I would not want to opt before Thought Erasure. Okay. But I think here I would because I would be scared of them taking the opt with the Thought Erasure. I mean, it is land. We do we are going to need land to get to these Teferis. It's not blue, but... Yeah, this song gets played for, like, this is part of our final boss playlist. We, we've just been, so it's like the second time today. So yes, yeah, so that's why you hear the song more than normal. I just think it's safest just to kill these things in case they do have removal for Phoenix. Some Metroid.
So it's, you know, kind of likely they have negate for Teferi, but not as much for Phoenix, so playing that. Um, what is this? All right, adding this to the playlist. If you show remorse, I'm a Metroid fan. I'll show restraint. I got right here. Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. There are a couple of games I was planning on getting to in the GameCube. At some point after I beat Breath of the Wild. I'm not ready for this quite yet. We gotta sacrifice something. We'll just sacrifice this rekindling phoenix. Hurry! <laughs> Alright, what else? Let's see. Is there anything else good that we can add to the playlist? We could have. Let's see. Alright, we already have the Chrono Trigger theme. I think the Castlevania collection. Let's see, let's see, Castlevania. There's man, a bunch of songs there. Prugor, thanks for that subscription. Um, Contra. Guys, gonna absorb this because I don't want them to put like Niv Mizzet or Teferi down and be able to get them with Eldest Reborn. Should this go on the final boss? Keep up the pace. Okay. It is level one music. How about some Super Mario Bros? Man, I used to love Dig Dug. My uncle had an Atari. I used to play Dig Dug all the time on my uncle's Atari whenever I'd go visit them.
Hmm. Grix control is okay. I play quite a bit of it. I like a Grix's discard deck. Oh, that's it. The duck hunt theme is only four seconds. Name one, name this one. Man, our mana's good, but double dive down. Yep, Pac Man. Crowned from Kirby. Probably a mulligan. The double dive down just doesn't do anything. I do like the mana, though. And I guess against a discard spell deck, it's it's good just to have good mana against a discard spell deck. All right, I'm talking myself into it. Because, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. We're probably going to get, like, duress and Thought Erasured and stuff like that anyway. Why, why would we shock in? Yeah, we can just cast op next turn. It's better to have more information. So like we, we know that we're drawing a spell pierce, for example, and we know our opponent has a Thief of Sanity now. So we, just, we have like a lot more information now with this opt. More information is better. Lava Coil, where are you at? Woo. Finally, last card. Got there. Ugh. How do they have so many of these every game? Every game they've had two. All three games, they've had two Thief of Sanities. Do we have the Ocarina of Time theme? Yes? Yeah, y'all want y'all want this song in the playlist? All right, we'll keep this one. What about Crash Bandicoot 3? What about Delfino Plaza? I love me some Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine. It's so good. Maybe my favorite GameCube game. Oh, it's one of them. Super Mario Sunshine. Opponent, stop with the theme of Sandy. Just stop.
Organization 13 from Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, if we had one more mana, we could play Teferi with Spell Pierce back up. I'm not sure if I should just slam Teferi, though. Because if it does get countered, we could be in trouble. Ah, eh, whatever. We're not in that much bigger trouble. Tetris? Alright, so they took something over Negate. No! Ugh! Oh, that is a real problem. Man, playing that Teferi. Yeah, that, that went real south. This game's over now. They still need an answer for Niv. Well, we need to draw two red sources to cast Niv Mizzet. Yeah, we need. We have one red source right now. <laughs> Good news is we are 4-0. So even though we died... We got an extra life. Yeah, this is the Final Fantasy VII. The uh, song at like the opening scene. And also for when you die. Final Fantasy X, go to Zandikar. Return to Zanikar land. Zanark land. All right, King Toll, have a, have a good night. All right, back at it. We are four and one. Let's start over. <laughs> All right, Hawkeye. We gotta beat the final boss here. I gotta refocus. Man, that last game, our opponent had double Thief of Sanity, game one, game two, double Thief of Sanity, game three, double Thief of Sanity, and then two turns later, the third Thief of Sanity, and that third Thief of Sanity got us. We played seven Thieves. All of them, like, first five turns of the game. Like, turn three, turn four, every game was like Thief of Sanities. It's crazy. All three on top? That's bold. I could wait, but I feel like they have Curious Obsession plus Spell Pierce or Dive Down. 
they're keeping all those on top like that. And so I feel like I could have been, I was like maybe dead if I didn't do that. Definitely do not like seeing Trickster, of course, because now they still have the obsession dive down slash spell pierce. Can I dive down my opponent's creatures? Keep them from getting curiously obsessed? Alright, looking for Niv Mizzet. Niv can't be countered. And is awesome. I also take like cheap removal spells. Like, you know, Deafening Clarion. Also take Deafening Clarion. Niv or Clarion. Everything else is going. So when rotation occurs, yeah, there you go, inverse, yeah. They'll, there'll be a new format where you'll be able to use those cards. They'll still be um, in your account and everything. Yeah, we have a whole lot of maps, but not very much treasure. All right, Clarion. Nope. Hmm. I can like tuck the trickster. They kill to fairy. And we take five. And we use like all of our treasures. Okay, let's get these dive downs out of there. Treasure maps out of there. Lyra, Coil, Negate, Phoenix. I mean, I want to play Deputy, but then playing Deputy means Clarion's not any good. Oh, you, you played against somebody playing Grixis Discard? Awesome. Grixis Discard is great. Absorb costs a little much. Yeah, this, this tension here in this match, because, like, Deputy is good in this match and Clarion's good in this match, but them together are not good. Yeah, Nicol Bolas is the best card in that Grixis Discard deck, for sure. Um, no, we had really fortunate pairings with the Mardu Angels. I think I like Orzhov Angels that we played yesterday more. So I'm just going to try having Clarion and... Deputy and hope it's not terrible Because they're both individually good
Thanks, Orasonic. I was about to do that. Thank you. It's a horse fish. Kind of represent having absorb here. Can't really kill that thing. I would not expect any max support basically ever. They wizards never, still never had it, uh, magic online have max support, even though people have been asking for it for like 15 years now. So I'd basically just never expect it. It's dumbfounding, but just kind of how it is. gonna win this hey we have foe with the twitch prime sub welcome back for the third month in a row the king there I guess I'm just gonna try to. I guess I'm just gonna try to have this Niv Mizzet take over. I suppose. Yeah, Niv's our only chance. So we'll just kind of stay at a an okay high life total, getting that thing out of there. Is it your you are our only hope? Pona tapped out this turn. Good turn to tap out with us just slamming Niv Mizzet and nothing else. You know, if we would have had like a, a cleansing nova or something, that would have been you know pretty bad tap out, but we didn't. All right, gonna block the Surge Mare. So if they want to trade, it costs them all their mana. We both trade, but we made them use all their mana. So drawing another removal spell to go along with the Clarion could be really nice for us. Oh, they still had a land drop. Never mind. Now we're dead. So they can adapt Terramander. And we have two two five fives to deal with. So 
maybe we have another Niv in the cards. No. All right, so I ended up four and two. There, after starting 4-0, picked up a couple of losses, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the red spells were really underwhelming. Basically, our removal... Our removal is really bad. We just kept on dying to larger creatures there. Like these, you know, we have like Justice Strike is the only thing that can kill anything over four toughness in our deck, which is certainly a problem. Dive Down ended up being really, really bad for us. I mean, it would have been good if we had it, you know, specifically that last game, but we had a lot of games where we just had our Dive Downs and didn't have Nivs and they were just sitting dead in our hand. That was, that was honestly a, a problem. I know that it's like game winning once you have Niv and it's it's so good to be able to protect Niv with dive down, but we just had a bunch of games there and yeah. Yeah, just sweepers were sorely missed. Yeah, cleansing Nova. No cleansing Novas was a big problem. Even if we would have had more settles. But yeah, I th I think that we'd gotta gotta have cleansing novas in this kind of deck. If not in the main in the sideboard, right? Like we just couldn't kill anything. And that was that was kind of a problem, just not being able to kill stuff. I also, as we talked about, I'd rather have negate over spell pierce in general for the deck. And though spell pierce wasn't so bad, I'd rather have negate there. Expansion was not good. We had a, like just a lot of games like where we'd have like dive down plus expansion, like in our like early on in the game, and neither card did anything. Where our opponents would just play creatures, and we'd just be sitting there looking at our dive down and expansion and be dying but it was still something different uh niv is incredible and of course teferi is very good as well yeah ixalan's bindings would have worked in a few situations too as well yeah ixalan's binding just ways to like actually like having cards that always remove the things that you want to remove would have been nice all right, so that's Jeskai Control. Uh, the sideboard, though, like Phoenix, Phoenix and um, Phoenix Warboss, Lyra were all very good in the sideboard. Deputy, not so sure about still, but Warboss, Phoenix, Lyra, that's a, those are good sideboard cards for sure in this kind of deck. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching Jeskai Control, and I'll see you for the next video.